give it a shot. Shut the Bad pun, I understand. In August of 2006, the Eureka Police Department uh, received a $2,000 donation from Target in support of the Eureka Police Department SWAT program. And if anybody sees Merle come in, please um, let me know. Uh, the SWAT team would uh, like to use a part of the donation to purchase uh, uh, EO Tech holographic sights and mounts for their SWAT rifles. Um, Council, we're recommending the uh, approve of the purchase of these the SWAT equipment utilizing these donated funds previously accepted by City Council. Uh, the fiscal impact is $1,676.07, and again, we're recommending approval. Thank you, and, and here's Chief Hartman. Chief Hartman, would you happen, would you like to say a few words on item 12? Since you just walked in the room, we're going to throw yeah. you right in front of the yeah. microphone. Not much I can say. Uh, uh, most of it is going towards uh, back plates for their vest to protect their backs. Thank you. Both we'll in the separate public comments. And Tad. Uh, I don't think we should have corporate sponsors of our police. And if we do, we should make them look like NASCAR drivers with stickers target on the side of their cars and stuff so that people, you know, when some kid gets caught out in the bottom of a ditch and gets capped by a cop, his last thought is, wow, target supported our police. You know, when you put more than half of your budget into the police, that makes it a police state by definition. And then you take on top of that and start getting corporate donors, people who have all the money, want the police to work the way they do. If you look at any Red College of the Redwoods first year Welcome to Policing Handbook, it says in chapter one somewhere, is that we tend to listen to those most likely to influence policy. And I'm telling you, $2,000 influences policy. You have these people bribing your police department. That's not right. This is corporate interest in your police department. You guys are smarter than that. Or they, otherwise, make them wear the patches. Maybe we can get uh, Pepsi one in a Michael Jackson's heart. Thank you, Tad. Is there anyone else from the public who'd like to comment? Seeing no one, we'll return this back to the council. Jeff. Uh, thank you, Mayor. At this time, I'd make a motion to uh, approve staff rec staff rec rec excuse me staff recommendation to accept that grant and uh, go ahead and turn it over to the police department and let you use, uh, use it on the SWAT team. Put a motion. Second. Move and second. Any further discussion? Councilmember Leonard. I do just have one comment to make. Um, since I know some people that work at the local Target. I, I did just want to mention that Target has a corporate policy of spending 3% on essentially nonprofit donations. And to make the decision about how that money gets spent, every store has an allotment based on their personal store sales. And that store staff sits down and takes a look at local applications for that money. And those local people at that local store make decisions about those local applications. So I just wanted to, to get that out there. And, and let people know that it's not that some corporate head way, way back in Minnesota has said, oh, I want to help the police department. It is, in fact, local people helping local people. Thank you, Councilmember Leonard. Anyone else care to comment? Proceed to vote. Unanimous, yes, vote motion. I'll be back again and again and again. And we'll keep talking about this thing and see if we can reduce the violence perpetrated on the people by the city and uh, get to a working relationship to where maybe we can improve. Maybe you can be the generation that leaves it better for your children and not worse. Thank you. Peace be with you. I am uh, forming a task force, <clears throat> and right now we're calling it on street crime, nuisance abatement, and slum boards. But it, it, it's, it's about the problem that we're all uh, talking about all the time in this community, the people on the street that are, you know, interfering with our rights to our neighborhoods, our right to free enjoyment of our business districts and whatnot. So I'm putting together some people I've already, I've got uh, 
a, a, a well-known developer. I've got a former city council person, former policeman who, who wants to be on this task force. And so tonight I'm, I'm making this public and seeing if council members have suggestions that they would like to make or members of the public that are interested in coming up with creative ways to deal with our problems that don't necessarily mean having to have a lot of extra <laughs> having to have a lot of extra uh, police officers right away because that's going to take a little, a little while for, uh, for that to happen. But uh, I think we can come up with a lot of creative uh, community uh, based uh, uh, solutions to some of our problems. And so that's what this task force will be about. Thank you.